The next type of coding block that we're going to talk about is loops, which are a little more complicated. Loops basically go through an action multiple times from the start of the program to the end. In loops that say forever, it will go through that action infinity times, or until your computer eventually runs out of battery. In loops that say while, and then something next to it, they go through the action while the thing next to it, which is called a condition, is happening. The thing next to while can be changed, it doesn't have to be true. And a helping hint is that the conditions, which are the thing next to the while, are often shaped in that diamond form. The last type of coding block that we're going to talk about is the logic blocks. There are many different varieties or types of blocks in the logic section, but the most common area that is used is the conditional section. Conditionals are like an agreement which essentially means for this thing to happen, something needs to happen first. So the first conditionals that we're gonna talk about are if conditionals, which say that only if this is happening, then will the program do the action. So to give an example, if the touch sensor is pressed, the robot will move forward for two seconds. A real world, real world example would be, if I eat a cookie, I will show a happy face. The second type of conditional is called an if-else conditional. These conditionals say that if this is happening, then the program will do the action, else the program will do another option. That's kind of confusing to just say out loud, so I'll give an example. If the touch sensor is pressed, the robot will move forward for two seconds, else, since the touch sensor is not pressed, the robot will show a sleeping face. And that's essentially what is happening in the picture to the right, and notice that the condition in this statement is if the touch sensor is pressed. So that diamond shape, that pink diamond right there, which is the condition, is if the touch sensor is pressed. So keep in mind that, you, that manipulating the sensors can often be a condition that you can have in your logic or even loop, like the while loops. A real-world example for an if-else condition would be, if I eat a cookie, I will show a happy face, else I will be hungry. It's important to remember that conditionals themselves are not loops. They will only complete the action if the trigger thing, or the conditional, happens once.